So this follows the California standards from grade three to algebra two. And that's gonna go to basic math following multiplication. I remember the Sputnik days in the space race. We were quite concerned about our students' mathematics in the space race. Unfortunately, somewhere along the way, we decided to always try the next new thing. <laughs> Students would go to school and were taught the basics of mathematics, addition, subtraction, multiplication, yes, multiplication, even if by rote. Why not? <laughs> they learned it. By the end of grade three, students deepened their understanding of place value and their understanding of and skill with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of whole number. This is from California, grade three standards. Yes, grade three. Students estimate, measure, and describe objects in space. They use patterns to help solve problems. They represent number relationship and conduct simple probability experiments. Okay, you read it, you see it, right? <laughs> Along came new math, blank math, this math, that math, the other math, last math, first math, <laughs> Polish math, Italian math, Martian math. I hope I have not named any real math programs in mathematics. By the time a teacher becomes fluent in one program, it's discontinued. Multiply, multiply, add and divide. Those are the skills that keep math alive. Addition and subtraction never end, even when you name them over and over again. The verbiage remains, the mathematics are the same. Multiply, multiply, add and divide. Grade six, students calculate and solve problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Solve problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Explain the meaning of multiplication and division of, you know, whatever. But it's always got to do it the same thing, right? So we keep going on through the next strand. And I take a breather now. <laughs> Multiply, add, subtract, and divide. That is what students need to survive. Throw in a variable, a formula or two. Sixth graders start to scream. That you can't do. Make them confident with variable and formula. And they will be ready to grow. Multiply, multiply, divide. We need those skills for Algebra 1 to survive. Addition, subtraction, we need those too. To teach Algebra 1, oh, what must I do? <laughs> By grade 8, many students are ready to quit. Algebra 1 should be a perfect fit. Multiply, add, subtract, and divide polynomials now. Standard 10, students add, subtract, <laughs> multiply, and divide. Monomials and polynomials. Well, someone forgot to tell the students. And then we teach Algebra 1 in grades 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, etc. Multiply, 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 and divide. We need those skills to keep math alive. Algebra 2. Your terms are still combined. Polynomials are entwined. The fractions are complex. Variations direct and indirect. <laughs> Some numbers become imaginary, but functions take on other forms. But still we multiply, multiply, add and divide. We know enough to make mathematics come alive. Students add, subtract, <laughs> multiply and divide complex numbers. Students add, subtract, multiply, divide and reduce and evaluate rational expressions. And look, monomial and polynomials. Assessing my students in multiple ways to develop their skills and address the gaps. Identify problems and guide them along, using what they do know to keep them mathematically strong. Helping my students to persevere. All the basics they need are there. Multiply, 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 divide. Whatever it takes you, you're all sure to survive. Practice the basics and you will see. You got it, yeah. Tenacity, 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 tenacity. Tenacity is what you need. Take your time, use what you've learned. Go at your own speed. 
This is what I keep telling my students because true mathematics follows next. Thank you. Yeah.